Hello all. Today I am going to discuss with you about one of the important result of homogeneous function named as Euler's theorem. This theorem says that if we take a homogeneous function, here I have taken f of x, y of degree n in x and y variable, then x times the partial derivative of the function with respect to x plus y times the partial derivative of the function with respect to y is equals to n of f. And uh, the second result is based on the double differentiation of the same function. And here it says that x square times if you take up double differentiation partially with respect to x plus 2xy differentiation of the same function twice with both x and y plus y square times differentiation of the function with respect to partially y square, we always get n into n minus 1. So we are going to study here that how we can apply these results in a problem solving but uh, quickly I would like to share ex uh, some how this result established so with the help of one a one function here we have taken the function equals to this function is equals to here we have taken f of x y equals to x to the power n g y by x you we have seen that now there were three uh, techniques by which we can see whether the function is homogeneous or not too so for establishing this result this function is taken and uh, first we find out the partial derivative of f with respect to x so see what happened here x to the power n has a x variable there inside the g function x is present so it is function of x and y both so product rule will applicable first if we differentiate x to the power n we get n times x to the power n minus 1 g of y by x constant x to the power n constant derivative first we will apply the chain rule g dash of y by x into 1 by x derivative is minus 1 upon x square y y times now here when we see the uh, with respect to y y is only in the g function so x n common and g dash of y by x chain and 1 by x because y is 1 now to establish the result we have seen the left hand side is x times fx and y times f of y function so when we multiply this first equation with x so here x multiplied and become n x to the power n because here n is less so it become x and x to the power n and g of y by x and in the second term already x square power on the denominator and when we multiply with x one x will get cancelled one will be retained and after simplification it will go to the numerator power will be x to the power n minus 1 g dash and in the second term when in the y it is multiplied with the del f by del y here x will get cancelled and um, uh, here x will be remain not cancelled here y is multiplied so y is there and x become in the numerator n minus 1 being the opposite sign will get cancelled and we get the result which we are looking for and second order if you differentiate the same uh, if I say how the second result will establish here if you differentiate this first result with respect to x and then with respect to y and add you will definitely get the second this is just a quick review that how we got it now let's take the first case first example if u is equals to x cube minus y cube upon x square plus y square then uh, we have to show that x del u by del x plus y del u by del y is equals to u and then the second result is for double derivative so first let's see how we get this answer first one here it is clearly visible that u is a homogeneous function the first numerator term is if we see what is the power of numerator numerator here is of degree 3 and denominator is of degree this is 3 and this is 2 so it's a homogeneous function u is a homogeneous function of degree 3 minus 2 what is 3 minus 2 here is 1 so i got a degree 1 so what euler's theorem says that this expression is left side of the first order euler's theorem result so it is 1 times so i get this is 1 times u 1 times u is equals to u so we got the first result now second result is that it is equals to n times so n means 1 times 1 minus 1 times and then u so 1 minus 1 is 0 so it means this is 0 we got the result now let's see the second example in second example i have taken z is equals to log of x square minus y square upon x square plus y square then we have to show that this expression is equals to 0 
Now let's check whether it is homogeneous or not. So I have discussed with you that all these trigonometric, log, inverse, a, all functions should be homogeneous only in one case when the expression inside, expression with these function should be having a rational and the degree of numerator denominator should be same. So here we are observing same. The degree is 2 here, the degree is 2 here, so 2 minus 2 is equals to 0. So done. So you can say z is homogeneous function. And what is degree here? Degree is equals to 0. So homogeneous function degree 0 means 0 into z. What is 0 into z? 0 into z is 0. See this result is also done. Let's see some one more example here. If u is equals to sine inverse of x square plus y square upon x plus y. Now if we see this function here it is not homogeneous function. Why? Because the numerator is of degree 2 and denominator of is degree 1 and with sine inverse it is not homogeneous. So we can say that u is equals to sine inverse x square plus y square upon x plus y is not homogeneous. But what we are observing that if sine inverse is not along with it, then it is homogeneous. This function is homogeneous, but with sine inverse, it is not homogeneous. So, but if you see, if I take the inverse, so sine u is equals to x square plus y square upon x plus y. Now, it is homogeneous. It is homogeneous function. And what is the degree over here? It is 2 power both are having 2, this is 1, so 2 minus 1 is 1. So homogeneous function of degree 1. So this is the homogeneous. Now it means if this function is homogeneous of degree 1, then sin u is equals to this function, this is also homogeneous. So if I take this equals to say some f, so what does it mean? It means x times, then f is a homogeneous function, it means f times del f by del x plus y times del f by del y equals 2. Uh, n, what is n here? 1 times f. Now if I say what is del f by del x? Del f by del x is equals to uh, differentiation of both sides. So it is first sine of u differentiation is cos of u into del u by del x. And what is del f by del y equals to? It is cos of u del u by del y. And when we substitute over here, so I get x times cos of u del u by del x plus y times cos of u del u by del y and that is equals to n times f means uh, this is sine of u because n f is u. So it is equals to sine of u and so when you take cos u common and we get del u by del x plus y times del u by del y equals to sine u by cos u and that is equals to tan u. So we got this result. But I want to discuss with you that this way we have to do it in a very detailed manner. If I want to find out that we can figure out that through this situation what is a procedure. So let's see one result which can tell us something about it that here, here if we have a function say u is a function which is function of some fn this expression and this is a homogeneous function of degree n like there we were having expression and this was a sine inverse so if this expression inside is a homogeneous and uh, we can write that this gu is a homogeneous function means you are saying that gu is a homogeneous function degree n so what I mean to say fn is a homogeneous function of degree n and you are calling fn equals to g of u then this is also a homogeneous function of degree n. So from here we can establish a result this result this result says that that if you are having homogeneous function equals to some function of u then x times del u by del x plus y times del u by del y is equals to n times g of u upon g dash of u because this is a g of so if you see the previous example the sine function was that so sine by cos so that's why we got the result as a tan so you can see that what we did in the detailed manner in the previous example we put it the function when we differentiate and then differentiated function always go to the denominator 
so this result becomes very useful when our motive is to get the answer as quickly as possible in that case we can use that let's see this result of this question u is equals to cos inverse of x plus y upon under root x plus under root y and we have to show that it is minus half times cot u now when you see this question here what i am observing the rational expression with cos inverse is homogeneous but with cos inverse it is not homogeneous why because here the degree of numerator is one and degree of denominator is half so when you see this function together cos inverse with this fun expression it is not a homogeneous but if cos inverse is not here in we, when we see this rational expression only then it is homogeneous so what we can do we can say that u is not homogeneous u is not homogeneous but cos of u is homogeneous which is equals to x plus y upon under root of x plus under root of y is homogeneous of degree what is the degree because here degrees our numerator term is half one and denominator is half so one minus half is half so i got the degree half now i am going to apply the previous result wherein this become my gu function and this is the n and the f of n is this expression so the result says that if you multiply x times partial differentiation with respect to u plus y times partial differentiation with respect to y means u times partial differentiation with respect to x y times partial differentiation with respect to y is n times it is n n times the function what is my function g of function is cos of u and the next one is derivative of cos of u cos of u derivative so what is derivative of cos of u cos of u derivative is minus minus sin u so what is minus sin u minus half of cos by that is cot u so i got this result so done this is done now in the second uh, this next question you are saying tan u is equals to x cube plus y cube upon x minus y and here it is this this is my g function this is a homogeneous function so i can say this is a g of u function so this is a homogeneous function homogeneous degree 3 minus 1 what is 3 minus 1 is 2 because this is a homogeneous function so i am going to establish the same result x times partial differentiation with respect to x y times partial differentiation with respect to y n times the numerator is tan of u, denominator is derivative of tan of u is secant square of u. So after simplification what we get? This is sin u by cos u into cos square u. This cos cos will get cancelled and 2 times sin u cos u is sin 2u. So this we got, right? So this way we can find out the result. Thank you.